Hi, I'm Jennifer schomburg kanky and I'm going to read to you my new piece called All My High School Friends that appears in the current issue of JMWW. There'll be a link down in the description below. And this issue of the journal features blended pieces that defy genre. All my high school friends, they're dying in their sleep and I'm only finding out about it years later. I feel a little better about unaccepted friend requests. It's not me, it's them, they're dead. They say your 40s are when you wear out, which is a fucking shame, which is to say unfair which is to say that anyone who made it through high school gym class by burying herself in her Walkman and just taking the damn B plus rather than coming out from the safety shell of the Darling Buds and Depeche Mode, anyone who felt so misunderstood they daydreamed Samantha Maselli was their best friend, anyone who joined drama club, band, quiz bowl, model UN, and German club because they were a more comfortable, comfortable terror than the terror of what was going on at home at night, get a free pass for the rest of their life. And that life should be long and happy as hell. Class of 93, make a pact with me. Let's never sleep again. Let's stay up late sending weird and heartfelt apologies over Facebook Messenger for things that happened 30 years ago. Let's write them so well they make the recipient uncomfortable. She can only respond with K from her iPhone in the morning because she's the kind of woman who can fall asleep safely. Let's play Candy Crush and Fishdom with unlimited lives. When we fuck up, there's another one waiting. And we just play and play and play until the sun comes up and it's time for work. Let's binge watch nostalgia shows by people younger than us. Composing tweets about anachronisms. Deleting them. Everyone should have the right to remember things as they want and fuck it all. Stay awake, Holly. Stay awake, Angie. Stay awake, Robin. I want you to, I want to meet you at Applebee's for nachos. So that has taken many forms. It sometimes it is a strictly lineated piece. Uh, and that was really fun because I could pause after there could be a line break after just taking the damn B plus rather than coming out from the safety shell of the Darling Buds and Depeche Mode. And I loved that line break and it was very hard to give it up because as a, I'm very into sort of by visibility you can see I've got my various pins. Some, some of the, the safe space pins are from, look like they're from the 90s and they're not. They're from like 2011. Uh, they're just, the design makes them look a little older. Anyway, so I loved that line break. It was very difficult for me to get rid of it. But I realized that it was easier for people to follow if things were sort of set up more like text and they could, the semi, there's a bunch of semicolons that help, helped folks. Cause some editor said, I, I like this poem, but I can't follow it. It's hard to follow for me. So putting some sections in prose, but keeping some in shorter lines allowed that to work, work a little bit better. So it's something between a micro essay and a prose poem and a traditional, but it's, you know, kind of doing its own thing, which is why it's a great fit for JMWW's blended issue, because uh, it kind of works between and within various genres. I also had editors early, earlier who responded, they couldn't tell if I was being sarcastic about, or being ironic about Candy Crush. Listen, I will never be, I will never be ironic about Candy Crush. I'm level like 5,370. I, I do not joke about Candy Crush. <laughs> Casual gaming my ass, right? I love Candy Crush. I don't play Fishdom anymore because it was it took up too much space on my tablet and it, it was too much. And Candy Crush, I go back and forth. I sometimes have to take it off of my tablet. Like it's off for the month of September because I'm doing poems for the Tupelo Press 3030 project. And... I can't play Candy Crush and get a poem written every single day, as well as, you know, work my full-time job, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I was glad that the folks at JMWW understand that it's, that I was not being ironic, that I truly love Candy Crush, 
like the middle-aged woman that I am. So that is the piece. Again, there'll be some links down below that you can follow so that you can read other people's wonderful pieces in this issue, as well as if you want to see this in, uh, in, in a text form. Thanks for stopping by.